Now, welcome back. Today is World Cancer Day, and we all know that cancer changes lives, but so can we. And that is why we're joined by Furman student Sydney Beeson for an inspirational story. Sydney, good to see you. Good to see Go you. Go Dens. I always yeah. love having a good Furman <laughs> Paladin on. And I, and I love the story because I, I didn't know much about, you know, World Cancer Day, but it's, cancer is a story that impacts lives. Almost every family, every person Absolutely. in this country has a cancer story. And you have a cancer story from when you were 17 years old. Yes, so I was diagnosed when I was 17 years old, and two years prior, my mom had been diagnosed with cancer. Oh my gosh. So, How did you even yeah. think to get, like were you not feeling well? What led up to that diagnosis? I had a throat infection that led to me being coming septic and so through that they were able to trace it and find. Yeah oh my and, and from that like experience and having a family you know that in your family as well what made you want to say now I have to do something about it because and, and then this is a pretty a pretty like <laughs> taunting. big taunting yeah. task that you want to do here. Yes, yeah, something like that I think you can either let describe you or define you and for me I wanted that to be part of my story but not my entire story and so I've looked for experiences to let my story be amplified through others. So you decided, you know what, I'm going to go on a little run. Little run <laughs> yeah. By a little, we mean from Maryland to San Francisco. Yeah, like let's just go from Baltimore <laughs> to San Francisco. So when did that idea come into your head? When I came to school, I heard about it, and I knew it was something I immediately wanted to be a part of. And so I had trained for it to leave after my sophomore year, and COVID-19 <laughs> moved it virtually. And oh. so I completed it all virtually, but was not ready to give up that dream of actually having the in-person experience within hospitals. And so I started training again for another eight months, and will be running anywhere from 12 to 16 miles a day for eight weeks. Oh wow. my gosh, I, that makes my hips hurt oh my thinking about I know. it. And, we're, and Megan was asking you off camera uh -huh. if you were a runner like, <laughs> like do already. Like, do you enjoy running anyway? <laughs> In middle school, I was that person that would try to trip during the meet so that I wouldn't have to finish my run. <laughs> so to say I've come a long way would be an understatement. Right, and I was like, Furman has a, a remarkable cross country team. I was like, do you train with any friends or anything like that? If them passing me on the rail trail <laughs> means that I am being training with them, then yes. Yes, <laughs> you were training with them. You are doing it. Talk. So much ambition, though. You mean yes. That? And logistics. How does it work? So you're going to fly to Baltimore and then just start running? Yes. Yeah, so we have two days. So I have 10 teammates, and I'll meet them for the very first time and then embark on this journey. And we run starting at the sunrise to when we finish. And we all have to pack in a small duffel bag, which means if you know me, that's probably going to be the hardest the part hardest of the entire part. thing. I'm already thinking, like, what, how would you do <laughs> for that? For eight weeks. Yes. And all the food and shelters donated, so I have no idea what I'll be eating or where I'll be sleeping, but it will be taken care and of. And is there like oh a fundraising component to this? Like, well, how can, can, is there a way someone sitting at home can help you? Yes. If you go to the Ullman Foundation, I have my own page, and my team has raised, I've raised personally over $8,000 already, and so wow. all that money goes directly to help young adults fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. So viewers out there, if you're looking to do that, uh, Sydney has a website as well, uh -huh. sydneybeeson.com, and I'm sure there's probably a link on there somewhere where you can go and, and find that page. But um, what are you hoping to learn uh, from this? Because I'm sure going through cancer, there's so many learning things that happen mm -hmm. in there, so many learning moments. What are you hoping to learn from this experience of meeting new people and kind of doing something that n most people would say uh, negative, not going to do it? I think everybody has their story, and the opportunity to meet so many people with such incredible stories along the way is something that I think will be transformative for my own self as well. <laughs> These other teammates, the other 10, do they all have cancer or? They have not all had cancer, but they've largely been impacted by cancer. I think anyone who takes this on clearly <laughs> cares about the cause. Or right. <laughs> they wouldn't just right. be going for the jog. Yes. <laughs> and how many miles is it? It's We're each going to be doing about 800 miles in the eight weeks. So wow. all of us totaling will be 4,000 miles. Wow. wow. So, I mean, I can't, yeah, you've got to send us a picture <laughs> of how you pack. Yes. And then, like, you know, you've got to bring multiple shoes because you can literally, like, run, run through them. Run through oh, them. Oh, for sure. For real. We, well, we're so proud of you, and yes. uh, thank you for thank sharing you the story. I mean, and, and sharing the, you know, the impact that World Cancer Day has on so many families mm -hmm. around, around the country. Again, we'll put, uh, Sydney's website on our Facebook page and, and our website as well, so you can donate to the 4K uh, for cancer. Yeah, good Thank luck. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for yes, me. keep up with us. We can like you know follow your Absolutely. journey. Absolutely. And best of luck at Furman. I know. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a great yes. school. Love it.